Greg, can you tell us what's been the kind of reaction to the game and the result of the weekend and I guess the performance overall? Um, disappointment at the result and going out of the cup, of course, we're um, well aware of uh, it was disappointing on that um, terms. We uh, probably created enough chances within the game, um, certainly to um, possibly have went through, but equally um, we didn't take them and convert them at the time, so we've only got ourselves to blame there. With the club now is, is not going to win any silverware this season with four mm -hmm. league games left. What's the purpose, I mean, from your point of view as an individual, what's the purpose over these remaining four games and what do you think the team's purpose needs to be? Just focus on each game as it comes, try and um, finish the season as strongly as we can. We're um, well aware it's been a disappointing campaign, but um, as you say, there's four games left and every chance is an opportunity to represent this club and uh, one we need to look forward to and try and finish as strong as we can. Do you see this very much as an opportunity, whoever the next manager is going to be, if they're watching somewhere to impress? I think every day in training, whether it's training or a game is a day to impress, you've got to um, appreciate the opportunity you've got. And um, that doesn't change whether there's a interim manager, a manager watching on somewhere else or a current manager. So no, you're always trying to impress. With the Euros around the corner, is it um, actually important for yourself to um, have a good last few matches of the season to try and keep your place in the team with uh, hopefully Scotland on the horizon for you? Um, I think that is, there's that at the back of your mind but everyone's, certainly my focus and I'm sure everyone else's is on Celtic it's um, on trying to keep my place in the team and as you say there's four games to go and finish as strongly as we can and um, if I do that and I'm playing well uh, the rest should take care of itself ideally. I'm talking of, of the Euros and a, a potential threat to keep players away from it with this European Super League. Can I just get your thoughts as a, as a professional footballer on this notion of the big clubs uh, breaking breaking away? Yeah, I don't agree with it, um, personally. I uh, don't think it's right. I don't think uh, no one would be for it. And from watching the football last night, um, Gary Neville and Jimmy Carragher, they spoke really well and strongly on it. And I think that would be every professional that I've certainly spoke to views within the game. Yeah, I was going to say, I mean, we've obviously been debating it in the media and on our programmes, etc. What has the, the, the talk been like in the in the dressing room at Celtic? Well, we've uh, not probably got as much uh, involvement as obviously the teams in England who are going to be taking part in it. So it's just chat, chat here and there. But I don't think there's many with uh, positive views on it. Yeah, because I guess it's kind of it's a meritocracy. You want access for whatever club it is to be able to climb it as far as you can. You know, kids getting into football, um, young professionals getting into teams, yourself at Celtic, wherever people are on the ladder, it's about, um, you know, showing that you're good enough to, to win trophies and take part in certain competitions yeah, exactly, rather than being no. guaranteed. 100% trophies and um, having these aims in your career is what you aim to do. You aim to win medals, you aim to win trophies. So to take that away from the game seems a bit bizarre. Also, the fact, Greg, for, for you, you know, for Celtic, you'll be looking to make the Champions League next year and I imagine most of the years afterwards. These big clubs are booted out. I mean, does it diminish the Champions League for, for the likes of Celtic Rangers? Um, I wouldn't say so. The Champions League is probably the biggest, well, it is the biggest competition club form and uh, it's what we aim to be back competing in. Um, we've not done that the last few years, which has been disappointing, but when the chance comes around the next uh, season, that will certainly be our aim. You think of the, the historical aspect of, of Celtic, particularly, but the likes of Celtic Rangers in Europe the last couple of years, but the last couple of decades, where you know you're you're playing and you're you're beating the, the bigger sides, and these sort of new current teams are only in it by money. Do you think there has to be a, a, a historical aspect to this to think that you can't just buy your way into the big competitions? You have to be there on merit, and, and historical aspects come into that as well. Um, I probably wouldn't say it's for me to comment on aspects of how people gain. Uh, Entering the Champions League, but in our uh, our route is to obviously the qualifying um, games, and uh, that's what our full focus on is winning them when they come around and trying to enter that way. What uh, other teams and uh, other clubs do to um, is not probably is out with my concern. Greg, going back to to on the field stuff, obviously you came on at half time uh, in the Sunday's game. You and Diego have kind of been almost sharing that 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 number three jersey, the left back role all season. Do you think that has perhaps hindered yourselves and the team that there hasn't been a first choice that's been so chopping and changing? Um, no, I've said this before. There's competition for places uh, at a club this size, um, and you need to try and earn 
each week, whether it's training or games to play the next week. Um, there's been different spells. Um, I was in the team, I got injured against Ross County um, probably five, six, seven weeks ago, whatever it was, and I had, I had a good run at that point, and that was the reason I came out of the team. And uh, Diego did well when he came in. Um, as you say, I came on at the weekend, and uh, yeah, that's what it is. What do you expect from uh, Aberdeen tomorrow up at Pitodry? A difficult game. They've got a new manager in, of course, um, so it's hard to gauge how they'll play. They'll probably have their own ideas, but um, I'm sure it'll be a tough game as it always is at Aberdeen away. Have you, uh, as a group of players, been talking to Scott at all, winding him up a bit that you know he's going up to Pitodry to play at the place he'll be playing next season? <laughs> nah, not really, to be fair. Um, Bruni's probably one of the most focused players I've certainly played with and uh, all his focus will be uh, on tomorrow night for us. Craig, do you need to find your own motivations going into these final four games of the season when there is nothing left to play for, really? Um, there's always stuff to play for when you play for Celtic um, and it's as I said, it's a chance to represent. So I think if you don't have that self... Uh, every player will have that so self-motivation and if you didn't, there's something wrong. In terms of your own motivation, would that be just trying to start every game you, you possibly can before the summer? Yeah, exactly. No, I want to play in every game. Uh, and now there's four left to do that, so I might need to be playing all four of them, yeah. Greg, just talking about Scott Brown there, you've been at Celtic, what, a couple of years now and you would have played against him before that. Um, what what are Celtic uh, losing and what, what influence has Scott had on, on you since you've been there, would you say? Um, we're losing, there's no... Uh, there's no point denying what we are. We're losing a massive influence. bruni has been a, a leader and a, and a top, top player. He's um, been brilliant for me uh, since I signed. He's a top guy off the pitch, but just on the pitch and on training, he leads by example. So, no, we are losing a massive, massive player there and a massive leader, but um, it's, uh, it's it's football. These things do uh, these things happen, but, uh, no, he's a massive miss. You talked about... Is, there, is it kind of everything that he does in terms of the way he approaches the game, uh, he, he trains the way he plays, all that kind of stuff? Is that what has made his kind of longevity? Yeah, I think so. He's um, still to this day, he's, the, he's out there setting examples uh, every day, trains as if it's his last and uh, it's probably a credit to himself that he's done that for so long. So you'll be looking forward to getting stuck into him when he's playing at Aberdeen, yeah, next season? <laughs> Aye, exactly. He'll be doing this getting stuck into me, I think. <laughs> 